Hey everyone, it's Cory Lynx, and this is my drunk video blog. Eric's over there on the computer laughing at me because he thinks it's spectacularly... Wait a minute, I should not have just used the word spectacularly. Completely ridiculous for me to be talking to a camera. Some people are just like, not into the YouTube thing, I guess. You need to make video blogs, bitch. Won't yes. I'm I'm drinking a rum and a coke, so I'm getting a little bit twisted. Um, it's very no no it's not rum and coke it's a vodka. Vodka. Vodka and coke, which is a very interesting combination that I usually don't try. Vanilla vodka and diet coke is really good. That's what Eric likes to get, and he turned me on to that drink too. So we were out. We met one of Eric's friends, and um, he was really nice. And we, I was at Blake's and I couldn't really drink. I had a couple of sips of the drink. I felt really, really bad because Eric bought me this drink. And I'm just like, I drove here and parked. And I'm like, oh my God, I feel so bad. I mean, I want to drink it because he bought it for me. But, so I took like, I drank like half of it and he drank the rest. But, um, it's all good. I'm getting drunk now. I'm going to drink later. And we're going to go back down there. Um... These are all Eric's school supplies. Eric um, beats children for a living, and <laughs> and sometimes he has to mark. He puts he puts on the dry erase board uh, the how many children that he beats daily. No, he's actually a teacher, and um, I used to want to be a teacher when I was a little kid. That's why I got excited when I saw this. These are all his products. It's July, and school's about to start in a month. And, um, yeah, so, I actually want to rant about a few things. I might get Eric to be my cameraman later on. Um, I'm going to talk about Jim's Barbecue Shack some more. I've been, I had made a couple of videos about him today. And, it's like, I think, um, Maggot Balls, oh, God, what are the other people's names? I can't remember. There's another person that was owning the shit out of him, another one, like, Adam the Trucker and some other, like, really, really intelligent people posting shit on his page. I think it's kind of starting to simmer down. I haven't heard much from Jim in the past couple of days, but I made those videos anyways, and I know I promised a lot of people that I was going to be making Gay Jesus videos. Well, we ended up not going to that event that night, but I still have all my costume shit, and I'm going to do, like, special video blogs for Gay Jesus just to piss people off. I'm going to try to think of, like, something as offensive as possible that won't get me deleted from YouTube, which is going to be extremely difficult. And, um, yeah. Oh, I also want to talk about these politicians in Georgia that are gay bashing. Oh, my fucking God. The stupid shit that these people are spewing out. Oxendine, um, and Karen Handel said that she was going to ban gay adoption. And Oxidine wants to turn around and say that she's pro-gay rights. Yeah, she wants to ban gay adoption. That's really pro-gay rights. Can you believe that shit? No! She wants to ban gay adoption and Oxidine is going to say that she's pro-gay rights and call her a liberal? What the fuck? You're stupid, dude! Oxidine got in trouble for putting um, LED flashers and shit like that on his car so that he could um, get through traffic and people would think that he was like the fire marshal or something like that. And the Georgia State Patrol got onto his ass for that. That's the kind of person that he is. He's corrupt. And there's other skeletons that he's got in the closet that I will dig up and mention in a later video. Have you noticed that I act like really, really drunk? Really, really gay? I act really, really drunk when I'm gay. No, I act like I start acting gayer when I'm drunk. My bitch comes out. My fairy comes out. And shit like that. I'm actually tired, too. One of my contact lenses popped out. It's this one, and I know it didn't pop out. It was scratching me all day long, and so I finally took it out a while ago, and it has a tear in it. So I had to take it out, and I left my contacts back at home in Loganville. So I'm just like, fuck it. I'll just wear this one and have, like, a blurry halo around everything <laughs> for the next two days. But it's all good. Eric thinks I should wear my glasses, but I don't think so. I don't like them. I don't like glasses. So I'm going to get back to drinking. And that was my fabulous drunken blog that I hope everybody enjoys. Talk to you.
you later.